Hello, hello. Welcome back. We are in week four of uh, of our B gaming here. We're going to be seeing tonight the Victory Auto Wreckers on the left side versus Honey Mustard Wings on the right. This is going to be one of those uh, opportunities for me to see people I've played with in past seasons uh, duke it out a little bit between each other. Uh, looks like Sclover is doing our uh, our hosting tonight, even though he's on the west uh, the blue team. So great uh, um, sportsmanlike conduct here to make sure that this things are, this thing's gonna go smoothly. Getting our last bit of team member in, we got Mr. Bees. Or is that someone who's on the? Um, I'm pretty sure that's a um, honey mustard wings person. Let me go ahead and take a look at the rosters really quick. Um, nope, Mr. Bees is, in fact, in Victory Auto Wreckers. My mistake. This is, we're running Mr. Bees tonight. We have Recklo, Josh Eklo, Sclover, Jack Sklo Lantern, uh, going on tonight. And in a little bit of a switch up compared to what I normally would see for the team, we are, uh, instead of running, uh, Fonzie tonight, we are doing Ian the Lorax, Don Gerald. Or Don Gerald? I'm not sure which of the two it is, but that is what we're running tonight. So, our full roster is there. I am kind of curious about uh, how the rest of this is going to be going and what the other team is doing. I know that they have um, a little bit of a... They have a standard uh, rotation that they've used recently, um, but they had to break it due to COVID instances last time. Let me go ahead and take a look back on my history, going and speaking to the Cash. What we're likely to be seeing tonight is Murmur Twin, Cash, Four Seasons, and uh, probably Tim Cookies will be their uh, their queen. But last time I've watched these teams work, Texas Archangel was dominant in the position, and that's where we're looking. Oh, here we are. We have people starting to roll in after I was looking at those messages, and. Uh, yeah, we have Texas Archangel being the primary queen running tonight for the Honey Mustard Wings. Uh, we have Tim Cookies in here. We have Brett, uh, another uh, former uh, Fourth Hives Club member, and Hallow Bean. Now, Hallow Bean, looking at the Honey Mustard Wings' list, uh, is, pro is either Four Seasons uh, LS, unlikely, or B-Rad, which is what I'm thinking is like 90% certain what that is. Hallow Bean... It's going to be rad. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give them the signal that we are ready to go. Uh, give me one moment, please, while I go and type that in. All right, so um, supposing you got this link uh, from somebody else and you were being told about this awesome game called Killer Queen Black. I'm going to do a quick... Uh, just thing on that, which I haven't really done for a while. There are three ways to win this game. Uh, you can either uh, become warriors on the opposing side and attack with queens to be able to kill the opposing queen. You do so three times, you win. If you uh, fill the 12 slots in your hive with berries, you win the game. Or if you bring the snail to the finish line on your side, you win the game as well. So um, those would involve workers and all that fun stuff. Uh, kqbdiscord.com is where you can go and get started with the game and bgame.gg is where the league games that you are seeing played tonight are hosted uh, so we are waiting on Tim Cookies to be able to get started with things but I am told that um, we are close to ready to go there's the lock in and here's the game make sure the scoreboards are all set to go A uh, little dance, a little clap. We got five viewers now. Welcome. We have some. Uh, we have Eric Carboso cheering on Honey Mustard Wings from the crowd. Thank you for uh, coming to join in our cast. Always happy to have people here. Uh, I'm doing a double header tonight. Uh, in about an hour and a half, I'm going to be casting Armand's next fight. Um, also in the West crowd, I believe. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at the circuits really quick to make sure I have that right. 
Uh, we are looking at some apple versus I'm only positive when things go my way east. So that will be in an hour and a half. Okay, so we have an immediate attack here on the gates on the medium and middle and right side. Uh, Dawn Carol taking an aggressive stance, trying to stop B-Rad Hollow Bean from being able to get up, but Hollow Bean finds that way in any way. Tim Cookie's in with the shield. Um, we have a full military group uh, coming in here. Texas Archangel pushing on Don Garrow. Uh, the uh, military comes in first. Don Garrow gets the pick off of one of the warriors. Three warriors up for the blue side as well. No objective pressure on either side. This is a straight up brawl. Uh, uh, we got some duplication. Mr. Bees and, uh, and Squlover taking the top left uh, control. Gold is completely locked out, leaving Texas Archangel in a weird spot where he has to go and remove uh, individual warriors. We got the sword and board down, retaking the right gate. Brest trying to be able to find that right gate. Uh, Don Girl gets that clear before they be able to come up. B-Rad doing the rotation. Ooh, nice bean stun there, keeping himself alive. Don Gerald, um, Don Gerald is able to go and get the pick off of that before anything else can manifest. Blue is doing a good job of keeping themselves up during all of this. And Sklover grabbing the shield, seeing that the uh, all military on the gold side has been wiped, is now in the tunnel trying to push things off. Mr. Bees, um, looks like he was going to go and grab the snail for a bit. A well, small miscommunication on objective on the blue side there resulted in one of the warriors dying and a quick repositioning in how the military needs to structure themselves. Texas Archangel taking out the snail rider. Uh, Eklo coming with a sword and board directly into the swarm of gold. Gold takes it out promptly. Hollow Bean on the rotation goes and takes out Don Gerald putting him on last life. That clear was huge. Gold team is now in a position where they have regained their military. They have, were struggling in the early sections of this game, but they have now turned this way around. Don Gerald is in the worst position. Texas Archangel's been doing a really good job of identifying, you know, where are the safe positions and where are not the safe positions. And Breath finds the strike to be able to put Don Gerald on, la uh, on dead from last. So uh, watch Brett getting into position right here underneath that left uh, that left position. The queen could have gone above. She could have rotated around to the gate. Either way, she was in a good position to stop Don Garrow from getting that gate that was asked for. Also, I did the wrong uh, score. There we go. All right, well done, Brett. So Brett's grabbed a berry on the on the right side here, going around to the left gate, trying to get in, get succeeds on it. Tim Cookie's going and. Uh, uh, poisoning the berries on the left side, top section, meaning that those berries are not going to be available for the blue team to do a thing. Tim Cookie's doing a thing where he brought a bean down from that top right, threw it on the ground, and then grabbed another one to get up. So we have three, four berries in for Honey Mustard Wings. And on the left side, we have Victor Auto Wreckers with only two berries in. Tim Cookie's getting up the third military, both teams, sorry, gold team has abandoned their berry pressure and at this point, they are now uh, just wrecking people on the on the blue side. Blue side starting to put some berries in. They've now equalized on the uh, on the objective pressure. Uh, both queens are on full lives, which means right now that someone could rotate back to objective to try to force something to happen, which is exactly what Josh Eklo just did here, jumping that in. But Hallow Bean, uh, coordinating with the uh, with Tex on the left, does take out uh, Don Gerald. With another one of the military down on the right side, Tim Cookies has now put berries in on the top right. Seven berries in. Tim Cookies were rotating around, around the top, jumping into difficult berries, only the easy berries left to go, and doing more bean throws on the bottom. Only three berries left to go. Uh, Squelver, on the other hand, goes and jumps in the lost bottom berries, so only five are left up there. Texas Archangel uh, swooping in, killing off Don Garrow on the first life and then trying to work against the objective counterplay and G Josh Eklo only getting the berry runner though. So uh, what we have here is three warriors up on the blue side against that last berry in the hole. Josh Eklo just holding position in here. Hollow Bean setting sights on Don Gerald's life does the alternative win condition here, taking the shot. Nope, it's moved a little bit uh, to the side here. Don Gerald's moved to a little bit safer space, but goes too low and Texas Archangel sets up and delivers uh getting the second map victory for the honey mustard wings here putting us on set point going into the throne room all right the military shenanigans i expect to absolutely continue from here on out um the question becomes 
Which team is going to get control of that gun and, and shield gate at the open? Looks like it's going to be Texas Archangel holding for Tim Cookies to get that shield. Uh, Texas has the rotation. Tim Cookies grabs the gun, so we have a full Glock and Block. Uh, B-Rad getting up on the right side with the speed movements. Uh, kill from Brev. Great rotation from the top there. Great read as well. Uh, it's pinning Don Gerald against the floor and delivering. Brad knows that uh, the best place for a base to be able to engage the queen is from directly above when they don't have a lot of room to maneuver. So uh, very safe play. Great kill. Uh, we're on two lives left here with full military complement from the Honey Mustard Wing side. Clear for Texas. Um, oh, nice shot. Almost taking out Don Gerald as well. The speed Glock and... I'm uh, sorry, Tim Cookies still around. The speed sword, the one that down. Uh, Brad rotating to the left gate. Getting in there from the uh, Ooh. mace. Ooh, nice move there from Mr. Bees as well, taking out the mace. Also, did I just hear someone join in with me here? I was trying not to say anything until the set was over. Woohoo! We got the set, though! But I verbally made that noise. <laughs> Hello, Jats. Good to see you over here. I only I've been here for like two maps. I was supposed <laughs> to say anything. Well, we Texas, got Texas the... twenty nine and one. Yeah, Dang. like go go ahead. You have uh, more to say on that? Oh no 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 no! I I haven't been paying. No, sorry. Um. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Let me look at numbers. I I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Okay. I caught the uh, end of the. The, the browser version. We just had queen kills across the board for orange. Yes. Um, looks like like threes for three of them. Uh, would, queen had three, would... two and one, I think, were the other ones. Uh, gotcha. I believe it was all military victories, though. So I think it was three, two, four uh, for the workers. I, de I didn't catch which one had gotten more of the queen I kills, but I think I think... had three. Well, I, I know that I stared at the main screen and I zoned out, but I think uh, Bra had, like, I think uh, the best KDR on that side. Mm. I think it was, I, I don't want to, like, 12 or 15 something. I shouldn't be talking, sorry. Well, what, I, sh what I will note <laughs> is that Texas Archangel was all over the map and uh, in very tactical and controlled positions, Don Garrow having a little bit of a hard time trying to maneuver around it. Um, now, what we should we should also call out here is on the left side, we are doing almost full rotation. Sclover's the only one who is staying in. Fonsworth is coming in uh, on as a worker on the blue side, which is very very interesting. Beesney's coming in, probably gonna be supporting that military role. Gonna get in for the worker side as well. Uh, so then the question becomes, who is the queen? Um, is Fonsworth just a kind of going to get pull a fast one on us and the and move into the queen slot as he normally does or will we have someone else returning like for example don garrow or maybe sclover pulls the fast one and his queen unlikely though considering that he's an east coast player so yeah i'm not sure for sure who's going to be coming in not mr bees it is don garrow coming back in and i think that's going to be our queen rotation He's coming back in. All right. Uh, Eric Carbozo calling out. Love Sclover's pick here of uh, Jack Skull Lantern. Here we go. Moving in to set two. All right. So uh, just for you, Jats, just to catch you up, the maps we've had so far were Black Queen's Keep, um, split Juniper, and the map you just saw, which is Throne Room. And here we are in Helix Temple. Okay. All right. Teams rotating out, both queens in the top middle to start. Tex, oh, one for one, gets a little bit ahead. The button inputs are in his favor. Kills Don Garo on the open, but look at the berries on both sides. <laughs> Already half high for the gold, and a bump in from uh, from Tex to finish it off, and the queen kill puts this looking very favorable towards Honey Mustard Wings. Only three left to go. Hello, Bean, jumping. B two ledges can come up for blue. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, we have the two. Probably uh, they're just picking which one is going to go for it at first. Um, they 
Tim Cookies take, takes a shot and misses, although it would have gotten past both of the Mace Runners. Tex rotates in the bottom. The jump. Oh, oh, it's the jump. God, there it is. It. Breck gets it. Great jump in. Great body bump. I want to uh, just to call out here the uh, the body bump that Bread goes to get in here. Oh, wait, never mind. The Yep, it was the bump out from the top and the jump in for Bread. Uh, final uh, move there from Tex. Would have gone and cleared it. Didn't matter, though. All right. Rotation from Don Garrow, putting himself in the high position for Tex. Great opening move there. But he has to rotate in and take, uh, and take over the snail. Um, so, great opening like that. Bees knees with the uh, with the girl strats going and taking out both first the queen and then a little hover in the air takes out a second. Good mace. Ooh. We've got a super slow, slow lantern. I had to stop for a second. That was close uh the road this this the the haircut uh on the snail there yeah um tex has gone down one life uh from an earlier kill up top tim cookies almost uh gets at don Gerald on, tool, on cooldown the clover is down all the gates are gold right now so um strong military lockout the oh. workers don't really have where to go right now Rotate Did get right one point. up. Ton Cookies with the kill on the top left. Uh, puts Don Gerald in last. Bees Knees getting in with the speed. Where will she go? Tim Cookies doing the chase. Rotating the left gate. Mm. Oh, but Don Gerald, while trying to give her the gate, uh, ends up getting picked off by B Rad. So from the rotation off the top here, you can just see right here that um, that movement there was correct to be able to f uh, clear some space for the workers, but it also provided just enough space because I don't think he saw B-Rad coming into the wrap. All right, set point on uh, return to Black Queen's Keep. This time, unlike, uh, actually, just like last time, actually, we have Ooh. a warrior uh, lockout. The open. Hey, there we go. Yeah, Don Gerald takes out uh, uh, Texas, giving them some more room to maneuver. Bees knees coming with that shield. Takes out the sword. Mm -hmm. Tex taking top right. Good move by Bees getting up there. The timing was great. Uh, Hollow Bean there, um, almost set up for a good queen position. And wow, that's so many times the queens almost killed each other. I just hear a lot of bumping. That's fine. Texas gets a kill off of Don Gerald, putting them both on second. Bonds on the snail, escorted by Sclover, is going to be high pressure here. Tex trying to find a way to, to split in. Find that seam. Nice rotation from Texas, taking out Don Gerald on Get putting him on mace. last, luring him on the middle gate. Go ahead. And takes the mace too. Mm -hmm. Double kill. Stops the build on right. Speaking of builds on right, we now have Sclover uh, up again. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Well, oh, I, th I thought you were going to say the fact that gold is three out. Yep, that's also true. Tex gets the clear on the top. Hollow Bean coming in with one of them. Fawnsworth stopping it cold in its tracks, deflecting from two workers at He's once. He's got that snail going, too. You see the, is... like, Tim Cookie's also found a way to get a bean in through the uh, mail slot uh, through the left side, but it didn't end up paying off. Just a great move, though. We got some good legend going on, Ooh, shutting down that three left. And that snail's getting ever so dangerous. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sclover in position. Oh, Sclover rotated away. And Queen gets the kill off of Sclover. Ledge is down. Yeah. And also, Tim Cookie's doing the, the bump in here. Brad trying to throw in from the uh, bump on the right. Isn't quite enough. Sclover getting up uh, on that left. Oh! Good job! Bees. The, the first block and the turn out of it, the activation. I love the corner right there of luring the queen in there and make it so the mace must that, go. That yeah. was, yeah, that was like, <laughs> that was like super perfect. 
it's really close. I, I I was worried. I'll stop rambling. No, you're good. Tim Cookies and Brett both trying to be able to get some throws here. Great insight. Um, Brett trying to be able to make the uh, toss in there, but Fonz with Benlu, it's really solid mace play there. Stayed above until the mace connected. Um, wow, Don Garrel oh. finding Tex. Turning it around for the victory auto wreckers. Let's go. Yeah, I think that uh, Don Gerald uh, was setting up for trying to be able to go for the right gate right there and just saw an opportunity of Tex trying to rotate down uh, downwards. Probably got caught off guard just a little bit while doing a visual scan. An ocular pat down, if you will. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Don Gerald uh. this, this time holding the spacing against Tex from a little bit over aggression, but Hollow Bean Ooh. taking out Don Gerald underneath the platform in the top right next to the hive. Sliver, uh, speed sword now. Ready, chasing down Tex. Brett coming up from the bottom, alleviating the pressure. Ooh. Oof. Good teamwork attempt, but not mm -hmm. quite enough to be able to take out Texas there. Ends up losing Brett. I mean, I wouldn't say it was an attempt at teamwork. It was teamwork. Sure. The, the, the right side <laughs> was killed, though. Oh, oh, there we go. Sclover. Okay, uh, everybody going down to last. Uh, and beans. we are also five beans out for gold. Yes. Make that f four. four. Great shot, Tim Cookies, for the high-pressure game here. Get some fighting back and forth. Little mm -hmm. snail. Some berries are still going. Tim Cookies uh, rotating the top here. Getting it two. Yep. Double shots, getting a dunk in here. What's Tim Cookies doing? Oh, he's trying to line up a shot. There it is. Okay. He's doing I, whatever he had, he wants to do. I think he was just, he took more it's time to line up the shot than actually just jump it in there. But yes, that, that worked out. Tim Cookies throwing the bean over to the right side. Uh, Fonsworth, good job clearing it out, but that does create enough of a Close. distraction uh, to let Hollow Bean get speed and sword for the escort. Shot in, Breck. Oh! Al, you big dunking in the bucket. Halloween, working on Fighting it's going on. We've got a. For the throw, for the win! You see, there we go. That time, when we had the bean being thrown in here, this very careful play got the extra worker here just in case it goes off, and Halloween sets up for the, uh, the backboard just in case it was needed. Like, everyone was in on the bean plan. Worked out very nicely. 22 berries for Tim Cookies this round. 17-14 mm -hmm. for Hollow Bean. Um, 42 and 6 for Texas Archangel. Once again, a dominant force on the, uh, on the court. Um, 6 queen kills for Texas. 11 warrior kills to compare to Don Geralt's 3 queen kills and 4 warriors. Uh, any other thoughts on the stats here? No, I think you've laid everything out. All right. Uh, I will call it a couple more things. Then we have 55% gate control for Don Gerald. So what that means to me is that overall, gold team is uh, being a little bit more effective with their warrior lives overall, but blue is allowing the control to be able to get the team back up again. The, t the, gate, the map that they won was one where they did manage to out-military what the Honey Mustard Wings were able to bring to the table through military kills. The other thing to note is that two out of the three maps that the gold team won here were through berry pressure not necessarily by superior warrior uh, KDAs, but the space true. control was very important. Go ahead. No, I just said true. True. All right. We're rotating <laughs> Eco back Sorry. in. Reclo. All right. The fun screen. Yep. That sounds right. This is, the, this is a West match, so... Um, this is, I think, the time to let Fonsworth uh, come online. I'm guessing that um, Ian is, uh, or Don Gerald, is uh, probably feeling some burn here from Texas, and they're looking to try to switch it up for Queen Styles. Um, yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's a thing. Throw out the hearts from these knees. Otherwise... Pretty serious match now. I think um, Victor Auto Records is ready to turn on the gas and start wrecking some cars. I'm sad I didn't bring any snacks. <laughs> I'm sitting here drinking my Mountain Dew Voltage. 
uh, as I relapsed in my soda habit like six months ago. Oh boy. Yep. All right, we're on nesting flats to begin. Uh, I think it's the second time we've fought in this map. Uh, last time was won by the Honey Mushroom Wakes. Bond's worth of taking the immediate middle gate. Um, doing the rotations, Eclo comes up uh, on speed and shield now, so it's a matter of just getting Eclo to where he can do what he does best. Ooh. Decided not to get to grab the right gate, ultimately dies. Oh! Ooh. Hmm. Maybe some lag there for Fonsworth. But that was really close to a kill on Texas. He did everything right, except wait just a little bit for Texas to drop down further. Well, Texas pulled up too, real yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a weird one. Yep, bump. At least on my screen. Yeah, I saw it as well. It was a queen bump after a quick uh, return upwards from Texas. Middle gate uh, is where Fonsworth is staking his life, but Hollow Bean's pushing that snail real hard along with two warrior escorts that are very strong. Uh, Fonzie is down, and there's the snail victory. All right, we have an actual true snail. Um, no last-ditch queen efforts here because the queen didn't have the chance due to uh, Hollow Bean's quick reactions there. Pushing the snail. Snail says hand kiss in the chat. Um, good stuff. All right, we are at uh, pot again. Fonsworth has middle control, very solid. St uh, trying to basically stop the berry pal from having any movements, uh, but they still managed to get three berries in so far. Um, while the rest of the team has managed to get, we're full mill for the blue team. Um, so I think that I think that the Victor Alrecords are doing what they need to do here to be able to try to stop the berry assault. Um, at this point, Fonsworth is needing to find a way to be able to stay alive, but that's going to be easier when Texas goes down to Splover. Oh, t as soon as I say that though, Texas gets that clear in the middle right column. Fonsworth on last. Gold team's reforming its military on bottom right. Four berries left to go. One berry was stolen for the Victor Auto Wreckers here. Breath uh, doing the uh, escort. Helping against uh, Tim Cookies here, most likely. Getting another throw toss in. And, oh, he didn't quite align himself correctly and dies to Bee's Knees. With the military coming up that close like that, I would prefer to just jump that in to keep your life. But maybe that's eh. You say eh? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can see it both ways. You gotta make the, or you have to at least try. Try to be the fast play? Yeah. Uh, we haven't already been in, though, I mean, thrown, thrown by Tim Cookies. Go ahead. I mean, yeah, T Tech still has one bean. Oh, the <laughs> bump! <laughs> Great placement from Tim Cookies there. Oh, it's unfortunate mace uh, ball placement for Sclover and great placement for Tim Cookies. If I had the ability to just, like, have a uh, annotator here, I would love just to show the positioning in that last second for Tim Cookies. Not only does he bump the berry into the hive, the, the slot, but he also bumps Fonsworth so he can't react to the warrior incoming on his head. Just great play from uh, Honey Mustard Wings here. Texas oh, Fonz! Wow, good Running job, Triple full quadra kill for, for Fonsworth. The entire gold team goes down to his quick movements. Which puts Blue in a really, like, ahead position to start. Uh, Beasley is now getting up with Josh Eklo holding the ground so far. Fonsworth is in the trap house, but it quickly escapes. Tex rotating into position in the middle gate. Gets Brett up, and a quick slash from the top puts Fonsworth on second. It's close. Good turn by Fonz. Fonsworth, yeah, but he put himself in a position where he had no escape routes in the middle gate. Also true. Bee's knees, rotating in the bottom right, puts Texas on last. Evens it now. out, yeah. This Spire, I think, could very well be the Victory Auto Wreckers. They're setting up for it. Oh, Tim Cookies. Laser. Bee's knees pushing that snail. Um, against Tim Cookie's laser puts up a good opportunity for the blue team if they can keep their military lives. And I say that we have two deaths, one of them military for the blue team. Eklo 
doing oh great did you see that like uh duck out yeah oh. and it cost texas the game or at least that map like okay i want to call out yeah go ahead i i have to go do a warm-up uh ggs the games are close i will finish w watching it all right thank you so much uh jats for popping in bye bye so i want to call out in that map really quick this thing where josh Inglo knew that his base was going to run out and he knew that Texas was going to be right on top of killing him, so he ducks just a little bit early, dodges the Texas play. Texas returns uh, after that, like, going through the column, which then allows um, uh, Josh Eaglow to come up through the top right and get the kill. Speaking of kills, B's knees with the girl strats here taking out um, Texas as he rotates through the middle for the laser. So uh, this is looking pretty good for the Victor Auto Wreckers so far with two military in and, and snail pressure up against Brad. Brad goes down to B's knees. Texas also controlling that snail for a little bit, but no gates for gold at all. Texas trying to push the objectives all himself uh, with B-Rad holding the position of the top gates and gets the queen kill, making his life count quite a bit. Both queens on second here. Hollow Bean finally taken out by uh, Fonsworth in the middle as he was trying to give Sclubber the, the edge to be able to get up on sword and board, which he succeeds at. Tex holding that right gate, uh, waiting for Sclubber to come in, and unfortunately doesn't quite get the read. Sp uh, Josh Eagle pushing that snail super hard, but could we have a family portrait here as Eagle finishes off a snail? Not quite, but that's okay, because Josh Eaglo evens up the game and also gets a snail victory. True snail wins the game this time on Throne Room. Doesn't happen very often, but we saw it come together for the Victory Auto Wreckers today. All right. Victory Auto Wreckers. Game 5 hype. Will this be the turning point for Victory Auto Wreckers? Will they start to overcome the Honey Mustard Wings? They need to win this map to do it. This is match point for the Honey Mustard Wings. Rotation through. Honey, uh, uh, Fonsworth Bentley holds that right gate. Tim Cookies rotating through the left. Kill from Bees Knees rotates the death ball for Texas Archangel. Great play there. Putting Texas on second right now. Could be messing with his psyche a little bit as he's making some more aggressive plays, but right there he knew exactly where he needed to be. Made the drop, took out Fonsworth, and, uh, you know, that's good. And now he needs to turn that into momentum for the Warriors. And he's done so, so far. Tim Cookie's up with a with a gun. Bra up with a mace. Rotating through, trying to fight Josh Eaglo. Ishlo takes out Bra. And now we're at the sword and board for Hallow Bean with Tim Cookie's. Needing to rotate through the top. Fonsworth getting a good read on where the gun is. Holds his own, stays alive. Tim Cookie's taking a shot. Kills uh, the Snail Rider on the blue side. We're doing overall some objective rotation compared to the last maps where they were all military before. This time they're rotating to be able to do some amount of pressure to guide the, uh, the military where they want them to go. Texas, speaking of which, takes out that snail. Fonsworth's been hunting him from above for a little while now. Finally, after he goes for the gate though, Texas is in a better position. Fonsworth, with a little bit of a delay, stays out of Texas's kill range. Oh, that is quite the scrapping here from the uh, from the Queen's butt. Unfortunately for Fonzie, Hollow Bean takes out his life. And Fonzie in a very dangerous position now with Gold now having all the military control and pressure. And no, pretty much no berries for any of this stuff. The snail is the thing that Fonsworth is electing to be able to push here as he just does lots of like quick reflexes and rotations to stay alive. He's on low position though. And Hollow Bean finally finds him. Unfortunately, the Victory Rock Auto Wreckers are not able to convert, and the Honey Mustard wins, Wings win 3 to nothing. All right, 34 and 7 for Texas once again. Uh, while he was uh, giving up more ground than he had last time, Texas was still unstoppable with 57.9% uh, gate control. They focused a bit more in terms of just keeping some of their uptimes higher for the gold team. 45.4% uh, at Tim Cookies was the lowest percentage uptime of the rest of the team, and he was their dedicated objective pressure. Overall, in terms of deaths, not that many overall for the gold team. 17 compared to the 26 on the Victory Auto Wreckers. 26 deaths as the workers, though. It just basically is the 17 for, compared to 26 for the soldiers is what really made the difference here. Texas doing lots and lots of farm with 22. Fon Fonsworth kept up on that particular piece, though. So at times, 
while the objective pressure was shut down, that was Fonsworth's primary goal and just couldn't quite manage to get this converted. This was a really close um, return on that last game though. So congratulations to the Honey Mustard Wings and thank you so much, everybody, for joining us tonight. Uh, once again, I am doing a double header. In one hour, I will be casting some Apple versus I'm only positive when things go my way east. Once again, uh, that team name is probably going to break my meter. Um, but yes, um, thank you all for joining me today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some quick MVPs here. I want to say Tim Cookies on the gold side, providing the every other pressure needed by the team to be able to get things moving. Um, I believe that Tim was a very, very solid in what his play was tonight, showing us some, a couple of like non-traditional strats, like Pod Berries was sealed twice by uh, by him in his efforts. I mean, it was one away on Pod uh, Pod Berries for uh, before getting a queen kill, but it was extremely close to being done there, and that's the reason the queen was there. So I'm going to call that a double there. Um, so yeah. Uh, Barton says clapping for uh, for this things here. I'm pretty sure that's for Tim Cookies for the MVP. So great job there. Um, on the Victory Auto Records, we had uh, some more rotations for what the team was doing. Uh, I'm gonna give this one to Fonsworth for being able to bring the team momentum back around and being the, the control and hunter for trying to be able to get the Victory Auto Records back in the game. So uh, great job subbing in here, Fonsworth, and um, Picking up some, uh, picking up a bad situation and almost getting a good comeback. So uh, that's my MVPs. Fonsworth for the for the Victor Auto Wreckers and Tim Cookies for the Honey Mustard Wings. Congratulations! All right, thanks for joining us on the QP Mini Bosses. I will see you again in an hour, and Jats will probably find you in Quick Play if he's not helping your team warm up. Have a good have a good night, everybody.